We're going to go over how to find the variance and the standard deviation of a data set. We'll do this one together, then I'll give you an example to try on your own and show you the answer you can see if you did it right. The variance and standard deviation are both measures of how spread out data is, but we need to calculate the variance in order to get standard deviation. So we'll begin with variance. Formulas for variance are over here on the left. There's two formulas, but the difference is only minor. This first one is for sample variance. That's for the variance of a sample of data, which is usually what you're going to use because typically you'll have data from a sample, not a whole population. But theoretically, if you did have data for a whole population, this is the formula you would use for the variance. The only difference is that one has a division by n minus one, so one less than the number of data points you have, whereas the other, population variance, just divides by n. Let's take a closer look at these formulas so that we can start to apply them. You'll notice that the sample variance has an S squared. That is the symbol for sample variance. So it's saying to calculate sample variance, this is what you got to do. Similarly for population variance, this is sigma squared. That is the symbol for population variance. Now what we've got going over here on the right, the more interesting part, is we have the sum of the squared differences from the mean of all of our data points. So what we have to do is calculate the mean of the data and then figure out how far away each data point is from the mean, square those differences, add them up, divide by n minus one. Might seem like a lot at first. I'll walk you through the process. It's not that bad. We'll have to begin by calculating the mean. To calculate the mean of a data set, which we write as x bar, all you have to do is add up all the data and then divide by the number of data points. In this case, there are one, two, three, four, five data points. So we'll be dividing by five and the data we've got is four plus six plus seven plus eight, plus 10. So again, calculating mean just means add up all the data points and divide by how many you've got. So again, that's five in the denominator, and then doing the addition in the numerator, four plus six is 10, plus 10 is 20, and then plus 15, that's gonna be 35. So 35 over five, our mean is seven. Now we can start to calculate the differences from the mean. So I've just set up a little table here. On the left, we'll calculate how far each data point we have is from the mean, how far each data point is from the mean. And then on the right, we will just square that difference. To calculate the sample variance, we need to add up all of those squared differences. So let's start by calculating the differences. Remember, you need to take the data points represented by xi and then subtract the mean in that order. So for example, we'll start with four. Four minus the mean of seven is going to be negative three. This is why order is important because four is less than the mean. So we wanna make sure that difference is gonna be negative. Then we have six, which is also less than the mean. Six minus seven is gonna be negative one. And then we come to an actual data point of seven. Its distance from the mean is zero. Then we have eight. Eight minus the mean of seven is one. And 10 minus the mean of seven is three. And then in the right column, we just have to square all of these differences. So negative three becomes nine. Negative one squared is one. Zero squared, one squared, three squared. There we go. I'll leave a link in the description to a lesson where I talk about where this formula comes from if you're interested in that. In this video, in the interest of time, I'm just focusing on the process. So now we've got the differences from the mean squared. That's in this column. To calculate sample variance, we have to add them all up. That's what this sigma means. It means add up all those squared differences. If we add all these up, we're going to get 20. And now we are nearly done. We can plug our pieces into this formula for sample variance. So the sample variance, S squared, says we need to take the sum of the squared differences from the mean, which we just figured out is 20, and we need to divide by one less than the number of data points we have. So that's five minus one. That's the same as 20 divided by four, which is just five. This is our variance, our sample variance. Now to calculate standard deviation, 
Well, standard deviation is just S. Sample variance is S squared. Standard deviation is just S. So to get the standard deviation, you just got to take the square root of both sides. So our sample standard deviation is square root of 5, which is about 2.24. Now, if this data actually represented some whole population, we could use the population variance formula. That is a lowercase sigma squared equals... Same thing, we've got the sum of the squared differences from the mean, so 20 in the numerator, but then instead of dividing by 5 minus 1, we would just divide by 5, and then the population variance would be 4. You take the square root of both sides to find the standard deviation. Standard deviation, then, would be 2. So that's it. To calculate variance, we need to find the mean, then we need to take each data point and subtract the mean, then square those differences, then add them up, and divide that by n minus 1 for sample variance or n for population variance. Once you have variance, take the square root of that for the standard deviation. Standard deviation is the square root of the variance. That's why the symbol for variances is an s squared, that's standard deviation squared, or sigma squared, same idea. All right, I'm going to show you another example now. Here is the data set for another example. You can try it on your own. Calculate the standard deviation and variance of this data set. You can do sample or the population, treat it however you want. And I'm going to put the work on screen to calculate those, and you can see if you did it correctly. So here's my calculations for the data sets variance and standard deviation, assuming it's a sample, as well as the variance and standard deviation, assuming that it is a population. So let me know in the comments how you did, and feel free to shoot if you've got any questions. Feeling the stratosphere come